Hello ladies and gents, welcome to CG Reaction and this is Neutron Stars, the most extreme things that are not black holes, yeah, I mean technically they are, that's the closest thing to a black hole that it can be, so yeah, uh, Neutron Stars are one of the most extreme violent things in the universe, giant atomic nuclei only a few kilometers in diameter but as massive as stars and they owe their existence to the death of something majestic yeah so basically uh whenever um you know big star goes supernova basically you know it uh, turns into a neutron star if it's even bigger then it turns into black hole so neutron star is the densest thing there can be by the laws of physics that is the densest things when it comes to black holes that's even more denser which our laws of physics doesn't tell like how that can be and that's why black holes are the something that we don't know anything about and we look to quantum physics for answers and even there we don't know anything yet so yeah neutron stars is, you know neutron stars basically are you know uh, matter compressing into the densest thing that it can be matter is mostly empty the guy who figured that out basically took a small you know slimmest shit of uh, you know uh, basically gold because that's the slimmest thing you can cut into so slimmest sheet of uh, gold he took and you know pass particles through it and realized that most of the particles went through then he realized whoa look at that most of the matter is basically empty so basically from nuclei to uh, electron there's a massive gap there much massive gap so if you compress that and jam electron into the nuclei basically you'd create a neutron you know uh, pro positive and negative proton electron basically merging becomes neutral neutrons and it, you know it that's the densest matter there can be and there's a neutron star which has just neutrons in it so that is the the densest thing that can be any more denser and you have black holes and which like i said we don't know anything about how there can be so the densest thing that can be that we know of is the neutron stars yeah and you know we saw that video about strange stars you know reacted to it in that says the neutron stars you know inside of neutron stars could be so basically ridiculously pressurized that even the quarks change into strange quarks and strange quarks in strange strange lets is just the zombies of the universe which basically turns you into strangeless so that's just weird let's watch this one uh Kuskasat is a you know great channel i reacted to quite a few videos from them already if you haven't seen my reaction to that check out the cars as a playlist i created for it Kuskasat reacts on something like that check out other playlists too like real life floor cgb gray internet historian all a sarcastic production things like that tier zoo and yeah let's watch this one and Kuskasat video sometimes gets blocked for whatever reason some gets blocked some don't i don't know why but so if this gets blocked out to put check out box there but i guess we'll see if it's too much annoyance to you i guess you know run the original video side by side and yeah let's watch this one neutron stars are one of the most extreme and violent things in the universe giant atomic nuclei only a few kilometers in diameter but as massive as stars and they owe their existence to the death of something majestic Stars exist because of a fragile balance. The mass of millions of billions of trillions of tons of hot plasma are being pulled inwards by gravity and squeeze material together with so much force that nuclei fuse. Hydrogen fuses into helium. This releases energy which pushes against gravity and tries to escape. As long as this balance exists, stars are pretty stable. Eventually, the hydrogen will be exhausted. Medium stars like our Sun go through a giant phase where they burn helium into carbon and oxygen before they eventually turn into white dwarfs. But in stars many times the mass of our Sun, things get interesting when the helium is exhausted. For a moment, the balance of pressure and radiation tips and gravity wins, squeezing the star tighter than before. The core burns hotter and faster, while the outer layers of the star swell by hundreds of times, fusing heavier and heavier elements. Carbon burns to neon in centuries, neon to oxygen in a year, oxygen to silicon in Open months, iron. and silicon to iron in a day. And that's it. And then, death. Iron is nuclear ash. 
it has no energy to give and cannot be fused. Yeah, uh, iron is basically the, you know, wall from fusion to fission. So if you're fissioning, uh, the, you know, basically fissioning things, iron is the wall. If you're fusing things and iron is the wall. Iron basically, you know, doesn't give out any energy. And, you know, I remember watching the, you know, I think Star Talks explanation videos about that, which even says that iron sucks in energy. I don't know about that. But yeah, so iron, when, you know, when star goes to the iron phase, that's it. Now it's about to go supernova. The fusion suddenly stops and the balance ends. Without the outward pressure from fusion, the core is crushed by the enormous weight of the star above it. What happens now is awesome and scary. Particles like electrons and protons really don't want to be near each other. But the pressure of the collapsing star is so great that electrons and protons fuse into neutrons, which then get squeezed together as tightly as in atomic nuclei. An iron ball the size of the Earth is squeezed into a ball of pure nuclear matter the size of a city. But not just the core, the whole star implodes, gravity pulling the outer layers in at 25% the speed of light. This implosion bounces off the iron core, producing a shock wave that explodes outwards and catapults the rest of the star into space. This is what we call a supernova explosion, and it will outshine entire galaxies. What remains of the star is now a neutron star. Its mass is around a million times the mass of the Earth, but compressed to an object about 25 kilometers wide. Damn. It's so dense that the mass of all living humans would fit into one cubic centimeter of neutron star matter. That's roughly a billion tons in a space the size of a sugar cube. Put another way, that's Mount Everest in a cup of coffee. From the outside, a neutron star is unbelievably extreme. Its gravity is the strongest outside black holes, and if it were any denser, it would become one. Light is bent around it, meaning you can see the front and parts of the back. Their surfaces reach a million degrees Celsius, compared to a measly 6,000 degrees for our sun. OK, let's look inside a neutron star. Although these giant atomic nuclei are stars, in many ways they're also like planets with solid crusts over a liquid core. The crust is extremely hard. The outermost layers are made of iron left over from the supernova, squeezed together in a crystal lattice with a sea of electrons flowing through them. Going deeper, gravity squeezes nuclei closer together. We find fewer and fewer protons as most merge to neutrons until we reach the base of the crust. Here, nuclei are squeezed together so hard that they start to touch. Protons and neutrons rearrange, making long cylinders or sheets, enormous nuclei with millions of protons and neutrons shaped like spaghetti and lasagna, which physicists call nuclear pasta. What? Nuclear pasta is so dense that it may be the strongest material in the universe, basically unbreakable. Lumps of pasta inside a neutron star can even make mountains, at most a few centimeters high, but many times as massive as the Himalayas. Eventually, beneath the pasta, we reach the core. We're not really sure what the properties of matter are when they're squeezed this hard. Protons and neutrons might dissolve into an ocean. Seriously, he just talked about how it's one of the toughest thing that is, the pasta. And then there is the core. Like, what the fuck could be there, man? of quarks, a so-called quark gluon plasma. Yeah. Some of those quarks might turn into strange quarks, making a sort of strange matter with properties so extreme that we made a whole video about it. Yeah, that's the video that you know I reacted to. This is just ridiculous, thinking that there could be strange matter in the cores of neutron stars. And when the two neutron stars collide, what if they just spews out this strange matter and just flows in the air? Strange lights basically flows in the air. Yeah, not air flows in the space basically so you know then it touches a star and that's it the process begins of turning everything into strange matter zombification starts i guess or maybe they just stay protons and neutrons no one knows for sure and that's why we do science that's all pretty heavy stuff literally so let's go back <laughs> out into space when neutron stars first collapse, they begin to spin very, very fast, like a ballerina pulling her arms in. Neutron stars are celestial ballerinas spinning many times per second. 
This creates pulses because their magnetic field creates a beam of radio waves which passes every time they spin. These radio Yeah, the little LGM1 or something it was called little green man. First time when we detected this pulsars. Basically that's the time where we thought, hmm, wait a minute. This could be a communication way from for, from the aliens. So they call it little green man 1 or something. The signal LGM1. But then we realize, oh wait a minute, these are just pulsars, these are just neutron stars. They are, you know, rotating faster. That's giving off this kind of signal. People thought that there could be nothing in space that could do this. So it must be intelligence. So people thought, oh, look at that. We might be contacting aliens. But oh, those are just neutron stars. Radio pulsars, pulsars are the best known type of neutron star. About 2,000 are known of in the Milky Way. These magnetic fields are the strongest in the universe. A quadrillion times stronger than Earth's after they're born. They're called magnetars until they calm down a little. But the absolute best kind of neutron stars are friends with other neutron stars. By radiating away energy as gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, their orbits can decay and they can crash into and kill each other in a kilonova explosion that spews out a lot of their guts. When they do, the conditions become so extreme that for a moment, heavy nuclei are made again. It's not fusion putting nuclei together this time, but heavy neutron-rich matter falling apart and reassembling. Only very recently, we've learned that this is probably the origin of most of the heavy elements in the universe, ah. like gold, uranium and platinum, and dozens more. So then our two neutron stars collapse and become a black hole, dying yet again. Not only do stars have to die to create elements, they have to die twice. Yeah. Over millions of years, these atoms will mix back into the galaxy, but some of them end up in a cloud. It's ridiculous to think that all the matter that we see, all the gold and all the heavy elements too. I mean, star explode, you know, basically spewing, spewing out all the, you know, basically elements and dust, in, you know, basically cosmic dust. Then neutron stars there, then neutron stars collide and they explode and now there are even heavier elements there. It's ridiculous. Stars needs to explode to enrich the, you know, basically space-time to with all these elements, I guess. ...which gravity pulls together to form stars and planets, repeating the cycle. Our solar system is one example, and the remains of those neutron stars that came before us are all around us. Our entire technological modern world was built out of the elements neutron stars made in eons past. Yeah. Sending these atoms on a 13 billion year journey to come together and make us and our world. And that's... Hell, even we and everything around us, this planet's made out of stardust basically. We are stardust. A star exploded and the element that came out of the star is us and the planet and everything around us. Pretty cool. Until then, we can look at them on paper. The 12,020 Human Space Era calendar has arrived. You can order it now until we sell out and then... Yeah, people, go to shop.kazgazad.org and buy the thing if you like it and support the channel. This is a great science channel. I love it. Yeah, neutron stars are basically the densest thing there can be with our known laws of physics. Black hole just goes outside of that, so we don't know anything about it or how they even comes to be. What's inside the black hole? Because what if it's even denser than neutron stars? I mean, what the hell can that be? So yeah, it's just ridiculous. Well, people, that was neutron star, the most extreme things that are not black holes, or the most extreme things that are, I guess, you know, can explain by laws of physics that we know of right now. This was my Cus Gazette. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out other reaction I did. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast of the playlist like Cus Gazette, Real Life Floor, CGP Grey, Holy Sarcastic Production, Internet Historian, Tears Zoo, things like that. And yeah, I'll see you next time.